Hi again, welcome back to another Origin. You know what this is. It's time for the Glass for Ether. So, uh, that person, Box Boy, I've, I've seen you in the comments over the past month. Uh, here you are. <laughs> it's for you, a three impact Origin. You're a bug like creature that makes soldiers and weapons from glass. Now, a first thing to put in mind here is that this mod will, this Origin will require the extra Origin keys mod. Glass Baker, you can create glass shoulders of soldiers by pressing your primary while holding glass. It has a one minute cooldown. Three glass blocks equals a level one soldier, which is a skeleton. Ten glass blocks equals a level two soldier, which is an enderman. And fifty glass blocks, a level three soldier, which is an iron golem. Miss spells, missing H and witch there several times. So you activate the ability with using G, which is your primary ability. Grab one, two, three into this section here, and we press G. We spend it all, and we create ourselves a glass skeleton. It won't attack us. We can whack it. It doesn't do anything to us, but let's say I summon myself a husk. You know where we're going with this. Why is it a little one? As you can see, our little skeleton is now going to fight the zombie. Unfortunately, uh, I think he loses this. Yeah, he fell into the lava. But you get the, the point here. He gonna fight that little guy for you. So if we now grab ourselves... 10 glass, we'll end up creating... And this one, with 10 blocks, you get yourself a glass enderman. Now, if we... Summon another husk, and we get whacked by it once... The Enderman's going to come running to save us if he can get over here. He's very angry, but unfortunately I don't think he can quite get to the zombie who's now walked away. There we are, now they're fighting. The Enderman's attacking the husk, and the husk was attacking the Enderman, and in this scenario, the Enderman wins. Funny that, I mean, it's almost like you're a three-block nightmare that will do stupid things. Spent all 50 pieces of glass to create ourselves a glass iron golem. And so, if I summon another husk, ow, he hurts immediately. The zombie is going to get absolutely demolished. Absolutely destroyed. Nothing about it. Hold on. If I, uh, let's say, go to creative mode and just grab an iron golem from the menu here and uh, hit it, they attack each other. That is quite interesting, and they probably would have killed each other at the same time if it wasn't for the fact that for some reason the other one just chose not to hit for the second time there. But hey, here we are. Winged Pocket. Activated ability with X, which that's a creative save bar or hollowed bar. You have an extra nine inventory slots. Items in it drop when you die. So by pressing X, as you can see, you get an extra nine slots of inventory. And as also stated before, if you die with anything in here, it will get dropped. I think the best I'm just going to murder thyself. And as you can see, that glass that like nine glasses here and then there's more glass down this way because there are two lots of glass there's the remaining glass in my inventory and the nine blocks that were inside of the pocket which if we open up the pocket it's gone glass cannon you can shoot a fireball with your secondary whilst holding a glass block has a 20 second cooldown. so if we hold a glass block and press our secondary ability it shoots a fireball that's pretty cool does that use glass to shoot the fireball shoot the fireball it does not use up any form of glass, you just have to have a glass in hand in order to use a fireball. Interesting. I'm assuming this is the equivalent of a gas fireball. That's done some damage, it's left some fire around. That's pretty interesting. I don't know how much damage it would have done, and not enough to crack the iron golem, so it wouldn't be a heavy amount of damage. Hard shell, you have a hard shell which gives you two which gives you more armor and two extra hearts. By default, two extra hearts and you get one and a half armor slots. Wings, you got permanent elytra on your back. Yeah, that's an additional thing here. I'm wearing a full suit of armor and also I have an elytra on, which is just just, just funny. I, I don't have other words for it because the elytra is not here in this slot here. It's a different item. I wonder if that means the elytra can technically break or not. Probably not. Beetle, like body, you are two and a half blocks tall and two blocks wide. Yeah, I mean, we've noticed that how I've had to break blocks going through places, but if we slowly crawl over here, as you can see, this is a three block high thing. You can see that I'm roughly three, two and a half blocks here. The best way to address that is if we get a 
block that actually accurately displays the difference in blocks, like smooth stone. So if I just grab some smooth stone, put it near me, we're going to put that there, and as you can see, we are about half a block. We're about that. Like, that's pretty decent. And I, I suppose it also means... No. You might be wider, but you can still fit in the usual gaps that you would normally. Like, uh, let's go back to it. Melting point. Your glass armor and weapons have a melting point. Three times fire damage. Well, I mean, your glass, so... Makes some semblance of sense. We're going to whack into the fire, and we're going to... Okay, I see. So it looks like it's not quite consistent in the fire ticks, but it seems to be about one and a half. We no longer have the regen. So now if I place the lava bucket over here, wait for it to come onto us. Okay, that's not brutal, brutal. You can get out of that if you're quick enough. That's not world ending amount of damage from lava. You can definitely get out of that if you're quick enough with how you act, but it's still something to keep in mind. Large appetite, you exhaust much quicker. God, this sprint, sprint jumping is so annoying to do when you're like tall, when you're just barely taller than two blocks. Okay, I'm noticing the hunger increases. It seems to be faster. It just doesn't, okay, it's, the exhaustion is faster than normal. It just does not affect, it's not faster when you have any level of saturation on top of your hunger. Big frame, you're 50% slower. I mean, can you tell? Like, this is income, this is so annoyingly slow. And of course, cave spawn, you spawn in a mine shaft. This sucks. Legitimately sucks. Like, this as an ability just kind of sucks overall. Yeah, you spawn in a, in a mine shaft. Woo woo, let's go. Your elytra is quite literally, basically useless underground. Unless you get into those giant wide ass caves, but good luck navigating them without accidentally murdering thyself. And yeah, you can get wood because you're in a mine shaft. You should be able to get into the progression a little easier because you'll have a more abundance of iron and diamonds around you because you're already deep underground. But still, it kind of sucks. Headbutt. You use the horn on your head to dash five blocks and dealing damage, piercing all armor with 15 second cooldown tenary key. What a random additional thing. Is this why we have extra key binds for a single ability? You could have just bound this to the other hotbar activator. Let me just quickly go to the options here. Like what? Creative mode. Yeah, you've got X, which is a load hotbar activator. You could just bound this to C, which is a save hotbar activator. I know that's what Origins can do. So, uh... Well, it broke through the skin. A little bit. Let's see, how many times does it take to actually kill this golem? Now that we know roughly where his health is, based upon the previous thing we did. He broke more. Look at this height that we got to start off here with. So let's do this. Uh, I don't know if that did anything. And it's also got way too long of a cooldown. No, that didn't do anything. That, that I did not notice any form of increase in speed by using the ability there. I don't know. This is an interesting origin. I'm not quite sure how to really feel with this one. It, it's an origin that... It's got some ideas behind it, but I feel like... like I, I just want to understand where the concept is going here. So you're a bug-like creature that can make soldiers from glass that and weapons from glass, and that just seems to be all that you're doing here. It doesn't seem like you're... Like, the goat horn ability, the ram in your head, that doesn't seem to make sense to the concept of this origin. I get the elytra wings. You're meant to be a bug. Commonly, bugs have wings. Not all bugs. 
but commonly a good chunk of them do so you might be aiming for that type of bug but it, i don't know I, I just look at this and i'm just not 100 percent sure what to really think here it's interesting what are your thoughts on this origin let me know in the comments down below and if you did enjoy this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and hit this video on screen here for more origins content Bye bye